everything Asian is becoming a fad to those who are non-Asian and comics are also seeking to cash in on the trend and themes of Asian related characters and to proclaim to those millennials that are of Asian descent they can be represented in comics as well. These are just some of the examples of modern comic book characters being of Asian descent created to appeal to a more diverse readership audience. Amadeus Cho, first appearance, Amazing Fantasy, issue 15, January 2005. Amadeus Cho was a supporting character to The Incredible Hulk. Appealing to millennials with his title, quote unquote, the totally awesome Hulk, the character has had mixed to favorable responses from readers. There were some aspects of controversy as when the character was first introduced, some have said that his name could have been a bit more Korean, but Amadeus hints to the Asian obsession of music lessons for children in the old belief that listening to or practicing music can get better academic performance and better education. Keenan Kong First appearance, New Superman, Issue 1, September 2016. A supporting character for Superman, Keenan was originally a bully and selfish with little respect or concern for others. Through stories, he's imbued with some of the power from Superman, whom had then died previously. Reactions to the character have been mixed, with claims that the character does not necessarily reflect the wide range of cultures or peoples that reside in China. Cindy Moon, first appearance, The Amazing Spider-Man, issue July 2014. Another supporting character brought in for Spider-Man, Silk, was bit by the same spider that bit Peter Parker, with the spider biting Peter and eventually finding its way to Cindy and biting her as well. This caused some mixed reception online as readers thought it was a lazy way to connect the new character Cindy to the iconic character Peter. Silk has often paired up with other Korean American heroes and heroines. Kamala Khan, first appearance, Miss Marvel, issue 14, August 2013. One of the very few characters created in modern Marvel comics that has been written excellently in nearly all of her appearances and has a strong readership following from her critically acclaimed comic, as well as not being created to cash in on trends. A childhood fan of the original Miss Marvel, Kamala soon becomes a hero in her own right. A little known fact is that before the Brie Larson Captain Marvel film, there were decent editorial as well as readership momentum to make Kamala the Miss Marvel in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Simon Bars. First appearance, The New 52, Free Comic Book Day Special Edition, Issue 1, May 2012. A supporting character for the Green Lantern Corps, his backstory had him being persecuted for the September 11 terrorist attacks. Reaction and support for a male Muslim character were good, and the character has been well liked enough to have a more assertive role within the DC Universe. He's also one of the few new characters to be of Near East Asian descent within the DC Universe. These are some of the more visible characters that have been created in recent times to try and include a more Asian readership audience within DC and Marvel comics. Most of the characters have had mixed receptions, with only Kamala being universally respected and liked. Most of the other characters have had some aspects of criticism or dislike. Industry commentators as well as online discussion have been about the fact that these characters rarely reflect the complex and geographical landmass that is the Asian subcontinent. Some countries have never even been represented in terms of a character in DC or Marvel comics. It's also been noticed and commented on that in terms of hero or heroine origin, Korea is a place where the action tended to be, particularly for the late 20 teens, due to the overwhelming trend and interest in Korean culture being popular in America. One particularly interesting view is that these characters only relate to Asian Americans. For example, Amadeus Cho can only really relate to Korean Americans, not necessarily Koreans born and raised in Korea. Western name being Amadeus, Korean family name being Cho, rather than a Korean first or last name. The character can prop up and identify with the Korean American experience, not exactly the Korean heritage that might be completely different from what the character shown is relating to. 
Though DC and Marvel still seek to diversify their heroes and heroines in terms of ethnic origin and character backstory, receptions to it can be mixed because of how effective the portrayal is or how relatable the character is to the hero or heroine they might be trying to represent. Industry analysts have also predicted that in the coming decades, with China's growing influence politically, socially, there will be another future trend of Chinese superheroes, replacing the Korean trend that was seen from the early to mid-20-teens.